The morning started with breakfast on the seventh floor, looking out over the city, which was fabulous for a change from homestay. We then boarded the bus for a very long trip down south, first of all stopping by a large lagoon where they harvested oysters, and unfortunately it was overcast, so we couldn't go over the mountain pass route and see the scenery. But it was interesting to see how they... Um, fish for the oysters using, strangely enough, old bicycle tyres, which they amass and put the oysters in to grow on. And God knows how, they also put the oysters on wires too. And there's a lady unloading them, uh, ready to be sold, no doubt, in the restaurants. Beautiful, pity it was overcast. And you could buy lots of pearls jewellery in the adjoining shops. We then drove south to Da Nang, past China Beach, where the Marines used to enjoy R&R. &R. And Da Nang is the largest industrialised area in Vietnam. We didn't really go to that. But we did stop for a snack and it's interesting that every shop has got a little Buddhist shrine. So there we are, Buddhist shrine at the back. And then some really nice banh mi sandwiches and, and, and uh, cakes and things. We then went to the Marble Mountain, which is where they used to get all the marble from, but they don't anymore. And the marble's now imported there, but you can see them making amazing variety of monuments which you can buy. I took the lift up because it was just ridiculously hot, sweaty and clammy and the view was spectacular but again very misty. At the top of the Marble Mountain, there are a succession of beautifully ornate pagodas, which we then walked around. There is also an ornate shrine complex and caves. Buddhas everywhere. This is spectacularly beautiful. We then visited a massive cave where they used to keep wounded soldiers during some of the wars. Lots of Buddhist shrines in there to different deities and teachers. Very misty and atmospheric inside. After the cave, you then climbed up to a viewing platform to look out over the landscape. We then boarded the coach 
and drove on south past lots of stalls selling every kind of marble statue you could possibly imagine. The next stop was Hua An, which was completely different to anywhere we've been, an incredibly touristy vibe, full of South Koreans and Chinese and other Vietnamese people, not that many Westerners. Everything is single story and it's been preserved by the Vietnamese government. Um, first of all, we walked around the town with our guide. Some of us hated it because it was too touristy. And we then visited an old house. These old houses open at one end onto the river and the other end onto the street so that goods could be ferried into the house at one end and then processed and sold at the other end or whatever other business. It tends to be Confucian or Japanese. We then went out the entrance that went onto the river could see quite a remarkable sight of all these single-storey ancient houses, hundreds of years old, onto what has become a very popular tourist destination with lots of restaurants and bars and uh, rickshaw drivers, street vendors, bicycles, lanterns, you name it. As the night fell, it got even more touristy with the lanterns being lit up and you could take boat rides if you wanted to. The group then had a meal at a lovely restaurant with a central shrine right onto the river, lovely meal. After the meal, some of us wandered around and some of us went back to the hotel to rest. <laughs> 